ladies and gents and the rest it's finally happening on april 17th we're going to be getting our first event called dark moon fair let's talk about it and let's see what it is uh, by from the beginning um, i'm going to put the obviously this screenshot is going to be on your screen um so on april 1st it's coming complete challenges and prizes da, 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 da. we'll talk about i'll show you all the rewards it's just it's there's a lot of them first of all this is a completely positive review but man like from the very beginning it's like this loading screen with a different background like come on blizzard you're a triple a company are you serious okay so here's what we need to know besides it's gonna happen on april 17th the requirements 40 sigils for event um, to be accessible what does that mean that means that uh, there is no uh, level discrimination and like it's going to be doable by everybody even by the very 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 beginners right so 40 like 40 sigils is like you're gonna get 40 sigils in like two hours after you start playing the game right this event will initially cycle every two weeks based on our current cadence which is two weeks on Two weeks off, two weeks on. This is how I understand it. The goal is to always have something active on this island. To st uh, so stay tuned for more information. So always have something on this island, meaning that always upgrade this Darkman Fair event or always add n new events. I don't know now, but I'm pretty sure we're not, we're not going to have uh, more than one event the next season. Let's be honest, right? It's going to be Darkman Fair two weeks two weeks empty and the last two weeks of the season uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have it again so it's out of six weeks we're gonna have four weeks of dark moon fair that's how i understand it okay so this is where it's gonna be on the map and uh, when you click on that thing it will give you this thing a screenshot with uh, quests here is a couple of interesting actually you know what let's just go through the reading a little bit i tap the darkman fair icon in the center of the map to view the complete incomplete challenges completion of challenges was da, 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 da. here's what we need to know here all tickets earned by an individual will also contribute tickets to their guildmates so this is the first huge element of drama implemented into the game so if you if your guildmates don't do uh, all the activities you're not going to have enough tickets i'm going to explain to you uh, in, in the future in the later in this video why you need to have all the tickets that you can possibly get all of them so if somebody fucks up uh, it's gonna be a big problem any tickets earned for uh, for a guild are locked to that guild and will not be removed if a player leaves or transfers to a new guild so i asked the devs and it's like uh, yeah when the when you earn tickets every guildmate earns extra tickets so 15 guildmates doing all the challenges you should have a lot of tickets uh, for the final rewards especially like you will need tickets to get the final reward you will see the final rewards at the end um, any tickets earned for a guild uh, sorry at the end of the week-long event unspent tickets will not carry over and will be converted to arclet energy which is good so if you don't, again, if some of your guildmates don't do not do all, all the activities and you don't have enough tickets for the final reward, you will be able to, you know, you'll get at least something for these tickets, right? So that's great. Here's what I want to talk about. <clears throat> it says weekly challenge. Last six days, two, 23 hours, which is seven days, right? You need to, have to do 30 uh, uh, Dark Moon Chaos quests to get this 1,000 tickets. Now, question is, I only see three challenges here. Daily challenges, three. You need 30, which means you need 10 days to complete this weekly quest. But the week only lasts seven days, not 10 days. So how are you going to be able to complete this thing if you only have three per day? So I assume there's going to be more below. We just can't see them. That's the only explanation that I have, even though there's no scroll yeah, here you can't really, I don't know. And then uh, the prices here, uh, I will show you the whole map, uh, the tree of uh, rewards at the end. Now, what does the fair actually do, right? So when you do quests, obviously it's all about doing uh, PvE boring quests and making it less boring, more entertaining. So what happens is every single gold chest on the map 
will turn into a dark moon fair gold uh, chest and it's not going to be gold chest it's just going to be chest so when four chests are opened could be three opened by you and one opened by the opponent the event starts we will talk about i'll show you the uh events that the ones that we were shown and uh those uh, chests by themselves they have some fun activities so those fun activities let's actually take a look at them so here's a fun activity number one you open the chest and this huge chicken comes out Now let's take a look at what happens when somebody opens four chests on the map. Um, the activity that was shown to us is called Deja Vu. So here's what happens. Two, two, two. Start playing. For some reason there's one chest. And as soon as somebody opens the other chest, instead of four, there's only two. Deja Vu, there we go. Here's, here's what's happening. Uh, until this, uh, the time ends, uh, your hand does not change. Here's what it looks like. So if you spawn more legs again, it's just, they're going to keep being there. See, boom, shaman again. So that is the first effect. Here is another one. It's called March. And this March could be anything. It could be March of Morlux, which means it gives you the effect of Murkai, but it doesn't end. It just lasts until, uh, until the time ends, the time of this event ends and then it can be replaced uh with stuff like um march of footman for i believe next one is going to be march of footman right after the murlux this is pretty fun activity i don't know how many times we'll be able to do that there you go here's march of footman and as you can see there is a lot of other fun stuff happening on the map it's because when you open that uh, dark moon chest you know this guy for example doesn't belong to this map right and uh, you know it's here so there's going to be a huge like like chaos on the map i hope it's in a fun way um yeah that's it now i will leave you a few more videos with different uh marshes there's like march of uh, sappers you know Ooh, it's amazing so I don't want to waste your time telling you what's happening on the screen because you can kind of see it yourself, right? Here's my favorite. Oh. It's like whatever you do, the only sappers will come out. Uh, and that, that pig, that pig that represents whales, like this, this fat pig, this disgusting, ugly yellow pig on the left side. It just ignores everything. It's full of jewelry. It's like, just look at it. Every time I play against a whale, this is what I see as an image. And by the way, this pig comes out from the chest. Yep. March of the Skeletons. The exact same thing. You open chests and the March of Skeletons triggers. Every time you spend gold, you'll get skeletons instead of murlocs, instead of footmen, instead of sappers. That is how it works. So the we know about two activities now, right? Deja vu and march. Come on. 
Now the most important part, rewards. Let's take a look at what we have and uh, talk about it a little bit. Okay, let's go. So we click on our Dark Moon Fair. Uh, com this, these are the complete challenges. Let's take a look at the rewards right here. Okay, so as you can see, the row is number one, but the prices are always different, already different. Gold costs more tickets. So here, by the way, you'll be able to buy this uh, portrait icon. And Blizzard said that they might might add a new one every time the event comes back. We don't know. Um, two, 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 where is it? Let's actually, you see this? up oh, On this row, our Epic Core cost, costs 30,000 tickets. The very important thing is 30,000 tickets or you can buy it for 1,000 gold in the store. Let's just remember 30,000 is 1,000 gold. I'm pretty sure we're going to make a guide uh, and we're going to come up with the most effective, efficient route uh, to follow here to spend your tickets most efficiently. We, ha we see these two gold, uh, sacks of gold and this container of outlet energy. They're all obviously it's different prices. So... From what I see here, this is 1,200 gold, 1,200 gold, and this is 18,000 18, tickets. That means that it's either 5,000 Arclad energy or 10, because they look the same. So, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of things to theorycraft in this uh, tree of rewards. This is probably going to be more complicated than the PvP guides, guys. So, anyway, uh, obviously I'm going to put this footage separately so you could uh, pause it and take a look at it yourself. But these are the rewards. In my opinion, it looks really good. Uh, again, this, this is a first impression. I don't know how it's going to work uh, when the season comes out. But so far, I like it. First time ever, eh? And, uh, yeah. So, that uh, season 5 is not going to be that boring. So here's what we need to know about what's going to happen. Number one, pick your guildmates carefully, even more carefully than now, because it's, it's not just skipping surges, because if you skip surges, you will eventually get your 30k uh, in the guild chest no matter what. Number two, don't spend your tickets right away when the event starts, unless it's like a very first row and you can buy gold or one of the tomes of experience, because I'm pretty sure we're going to come up with the with the most effect efficient way to spend tickets that is pretty much all i got i have a very positive impression darkman fair first event first of many i hope that's all